Before you begin test box measures, calibrate the coupler response. Set up the hearing instrument in the test box. Ensure the hearing instrument is connected to the manufacturer software, set to full on gain, and unmute it. The test can be run independently or in sequence using auto test. In this video, we will run auto test mode. To select which tests you would like to run in auto test mode, click Setup. For the purposes of this video, we will run all tests except induction coil. You can choose which tests you would like to run based on the purposes of your testing. Also select Always Perform RTG when using the auto sequence mode. Click OK. When you are ready to begin testing, click Auto. OSPL90 and full-on gain testing will begin. Once the sequence hits reference test gain, you will be instructed to turn the hearing aid down to the reference test gain setting. This can be done in the hearing aid software or manually. Once the gain closely matches the target, click OK. You will not need to adjust the gain for the remainder of the testing. If at any point in the testing the software states it is not responding, allow the test to finish. This message may appear on older computers or computers with lower memory, but it does not impact the results. Once the testing has completed, you can view the results of each test in the bottom left corner of the screen. To view all results easily, you can also click File Report Preview or File Print Report. The results of the test should be compared to the hearing instrument manufacturer specifications. The allowable tolerances can also be found in the Help section. To see these, click Help, then click References and Tolerances. 